Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here on this channel. I do tarot card readings for all zodiac signs. In this particular video, I'm doing tarot card reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, welcome in, Cancerian. Thank you so much for being here. We're gonna get some message for you to see what's coming up in your future, what you're leaving behind, and what your current energetic state is saying about you remember that these are general tarot card readings and so all the messages may not apply to all of you so do take what applies and the rest let it fly cancerian if these messages resonate with you do leave behind a thumbs up a share share the video with those that you love and subscribe to my channel for future uploads cancerian Thank you so much for all of your support. If you're interested in supporting, dropping a donation or a little gesture of gratitude or whatever, you can check the description box below this video for, the, for that information, all right? All of your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. So let's get some messages. All right, so we have past energy here. I feel like I didn't complete my introduction but let's get started <sighs> let's get started what are you leaving behind you're releasing something page of pentacles energy turning your burdens to light that's how i interpret this card releasing some of you could be getting a message concerning money or a job a business opportunity money coming into you right or maybe you're about to spend some money but um, you could be well receiving here. Your burden still like cancer and means that you're looking at uh, struggling situations from a different perspective where it's more uh, light and it's more working in your favor than being burdensome, right? Do you remember the movie Twin, Twin Warriors? For those of you who've watched Twin Warriors with Jet Li, um, and one of the most one of the things that really affected me the most was when he lost his mind and then he got the inspiration to free himself, lay down your burdens. Free yourself, lay down your burdens. Free yourself, lay down your burdens. Sometimes we have to pray and ask um, our spiritual guides for help and trust and know that we're not alone. So it's okay to, uh, to ask for help. Um, to to look for help, to seek help and clarity too, to get higher wisdom. It's okay that to know that we're not alone here. So I feel like you went through some transformation when it comes to things that you've been bearing, Cancer, and you let it go. You found a way to free your free yourself of these burdens. All right, it could be getting higher education or tapping into your spirituality. Or getting to know yourself and love yourself some more value yourself and that's what's causing you to actually let go of certain experiences belief patterns ideas that weren't serving you and know it you're, you're more open to receiving yay all right look at this letting go we have the full card starting anew trusting the journey ahead of you we have the sun here the sun is shining on you you're blessed and guided by spirits angels of love here i feel Right, your spirit is beautiful. You're about to step into something new. Maybe some of you were afraid of releasing, but because um because you you don't know what lays ahead of you. But this card is saying trust the journey. The fool doesn't know what's on his journey here, but he's ready to go. You know you don't know what you're going to end up in, but the thing is to have faith. Go with pure intentions, a pure heart. Know that you're guided and protected, and you're not alone. That's the energy. So you're releasing or you have released possibly an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, ready to step into the new. Let's see where you're heading. Hmm. Some of you could be coming into contact with a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is strong Sagittarius energy with the temperance card, fire. Okay, some of you could have fire in your chart as well. You could be really awakening, going through spiritual enlightenment. You could be sharing your gifts and your talents. You could be healing or you could be healing others and yourself as well. Tapping into your, your, your third eye intuition here. Look at that. You're very protected. I said it by your spiritual um, guidance forces here. 
around you from the angelic realm the presence in you is 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 very strong here i feel like they help to guide you they water you they nourish you on your journey so give thanks this temperance energy also find is feeling like finding balance considering giving thanks giving back giving back to the earth really being um absorbed in nature and that's a way of of giving gratitude and that's how the universe comes around and blesses you too so you're about to release and then you're coming into some healing transformation blessing or a higher inspiration or knowledge maybe you're about to change up from the type of people that you're normally associated with cancer and you're about to maybe attract differently to you because you've released some things that were only experiences so you're ready for new just you're ready for something new you've been cleansed and you're ready you've let go and you're healed you're you're smiling you're looking good and you're ready to receive Let's see what your current energy is like, Cancer. And we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is someone that's moving in or out. Um, strongly away from, you know, out, traveling, migrating, relocating. This is someone that's chasing their dreams as well. Very passionate about the road that they're traveling on. Possibly in a hurry, someone is coming back toward you, maybe, that is attracted to you. We have the Fire Sign energy again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Sagittarius with the Temperance card over here, Cancerian. So I feel like some of you are studying or going out to work. Or you're moving away from that to something new. So the Knight of Wands. Some of you could be, uh, you have fire in your chart, Aries Leo, Sagittarius. You're very passionate and creative too intuitive very fertile and divine like you have a strong i feel your 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 femininity if you're masculine or feminine your essence is very powerful so you're either a strong masculine or very strong feminine and it's beautiful i feel like you're able to take charge in your life just by being who you are i feel like you're able to power up from the inside out because there's something in you that it even lights up your eyes. That's the energy. Very passionate energy in who you are. Very feminine and strong. Courageous. All right. Let's see what this Knight of Wands is. So, you're, ooh, another one's energy. So, you're on your journey. You're on your move. Some of you are moving away from or moving into. But the way you're moving is with grace and with love. Being grounded and creative knowing that you're blessed and you're chosen you could be leaders you know one that people look up to here because i feel like you're very blessed you're very conscious and i feel like you're wise you're i feel like this this is the energy of someone that is a master creator master of the arts you're not magician level yet with this card right but you're someone who knows how to uh make energies work for you because with the six it's as within so without for me so you're feeling like you're able to manifest energies inside of you it's like literally magician energy and so you're able to impact or affect your environment so that's how you are a leader because you tune into the energies within yourself first before you know what i'm saying you lead from inside out okay so you get your stuff together and then that's how you lead i don't know who i'm reading for but welcome thanks for being here cancer all right cancer with the fire energy and let's see yay look at you i feel like there's you walk with a celebration behind you as if you could just be married and you're pulling all everyone knows that you're celebrating as if you're walking with a crowd yes definitely like you're walking with a crowd that's happy for you cheering for you you're happy you're celebrating the three of cups energy is moving maybe you're moving into your happiness or you're moving with happiness you're moving with your celebration or you're moving into this feeling all right i don't if you're affiliated with a fire sign this person may want to move into you Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I feel you're happy right now with the Three of Cups. You're manifesting happiness around you. So we'll see what's coming up in your future, Cancerian. Okay. 
my gosh. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be money. I said money could be coming into you from a past energy. Queen of Pentacles, confidence, financial stability, balance, security, a sense of self-worth, value. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. The Justice card. So your financial balance is you're about to become financially balanced. Something new. It could be because of a new business that you're doing, a new step. A new way forward. I feel like you're paving the way for something new. It feels like you've opened the doors to your abundance. Or you've unlocked something that many other people haven't touched before. And that's all the justice is here. Ay, 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 ay. I feel like you, you just, you, you headed in a different direction. And the... As if the secret door was here and no one knew about it. But you're just moving and you happen upon this door. And when you look, hey, it's it's an avenue to your wealth. And it's it's yours because it's like a treasure that you found, literally. And it's on it's due unto you because you found it. But I feel like no one else found it because you're the one that that was meant to. But it also feels like it happened by chance. So whatever this wealth is, this this abundance of wealth your business working out for you you're about to come upon some treasure that's a, that's yours and i feel like no one can take this away from you because the minute you lay your hand on it it's, you claim it and it is yours all right that's what i have for you in this reading okay so yeah i'm moving away from and then healing moving away from mm -hmm. Marriage card, separation. Some of you are se celebrating a separation. Some of you are celebrating separation, right? Celebrating moving away from a connection. Celebrating coming into your own, manifesting your own money, um, financial stability here. All right, so this is what I have for you today, Cancer. And thank you so much for being here. Those of you who want me to sh give this thing card a shuffle, let's do it. I'm shuffling these for the, the Cancerian that wants me to shuffle these. Thank you so much. Messages for this Cancerian. Messages come on. Five of Pentacles. Mm. Alright, I feel like some of you are still in a situation or feeling where you need to acquire more for yourself financially or you're not feeling good maybe some of you are in codependent relationships but you're about to move forward separate from a connection that's not serving you you're about to start turning your intent your attention inside focusing on loving yourself wanting the best for yourself as if you're loving your own child loving you mm -hmm. and that's going to cause you to realize what's going to be best for you that's what i have for you cancer and thank you for being here if these messages resonate with you do go ahead and leave a thumbs up behind subscribe to this channel share the video with those that you love remember that all is within you cancerian and you are all much love take care